Hello there guys. Today's tutorial is a bit different than usual. As you can see, I'm starting in game. Uh, the reason for that is because they have added a new feature to VRChat called the Dynamic Bone Limiter. So if you go to your settings, under safety in the top right, you'll see performance options. And under there, the only thing you're going to see right now is limit dynamic bone usage. On the right side, you're going to see the default um, numbers that they add to the config, which is um, 32 max affected transforms and 8 max collisions. I'm going to show you what that means now. So as you see, this avatar has no collisions and no dynamic bones at all. But if I switch to a different model, let's go with uh, this one. Now this model has over 40 dynamic bone collisions total. Uh, so what's going to happen is you're going to see that nothing's moving. The reason for that is because uh, it passes that limit that you saw just a second ago. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to that option and uncheck it. And what you're going to see is it'll re-enable it and now everything's moving because uh, I was passed over the uh, limit and it was limiting me. So you can actually change these numbers or you can just stick with the defaults, which is what I would recommend. Um, or you can even make them more strict. You can even change both of these to zero, zero. So I'm going to jump out of game and I'm going to show you guys how to change that now. All right, now that we're out of game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the default values that come with it. You can make it more strict or more lenient. That's up to you. Uh, keep in mind, I'd recommend the settings that the game comes with. So as you see here, the default was 32 and eight. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to your C drive, and that's usually where VRChat is going to be installed. And you're going to want to do users, and then your username. And then you want to find a folder called app data. Now, what you're going to have to do, uh, some people will have hidden folders off. So what you're going to have to do is you have to go to the view here and hit uh, hidden items. And I'll allow it to show. Um, some people have, might have older operating systems uh, or a different version of Windows. So you might have to Google how to show hidden items for your version. Uh, but for Windows 10, that is how you do it. So then we're going to go into app data. We're going to go into local low. And we're going to navigate down to the VR chat folder. Now inside here, there's another VR chat folder. Now this is the folder where normally you can go in here and there's gonna, this is where it rec um, caches all the avatars you see. Um, you can also delete uh, this folder and that will clear up all the cached items in game. But... To create this uh, JSON file, as suggested in the documents here, I will provide this link in the description below. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click and hit new. I'm going to hit text document. And I'm going to delete everything in this name and name it config.json. You're probably going to get an error. And that's that the uh, file extension is not recognized, but you just want to hit yes. I already have it set up so it's going to view a JSON JSON file in Notepad. I'm going to open that here, but you might have to uh, right click and hit uh, open with and uh, find Notepad. Uh, so we're going to go in here and I'm going to go to that page here and find the recommended options here. Now keep in mind that this same config file can also be used to limit particles, but that would be a different tutorial. So, so as of right now, I'm only going to show you how to create the file for the dynamic bones. So I'm going to paste in that after copying. I just hit, I just highlight it all and hit control C. It looks like they also have a copy button. So you can just hit copy and I'm going to paste that in here. The uh, example values are zero and zero for both. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to save that and I'm going to hop in game and I'm going to show you that that actually changed the values. All right, now we're back in game, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the options that we just added on our performance are 0, 0, just like in the custom config we created. And obviously, if you want to enable things again, you just uncheck and things will start to move again. Now, in there, 0, 0, what that'll do is it'll mean that no matter what how many dynamic bone scripts are on the entire model, it'll strip those off with that limiter on. Uh, so if you want to completely, utterly disable all dynamic bones, no matter what, you can put a value of zero, zero. Um, however, we can also X out of game right now, and we can change that to a much higher number. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'll be right back. 
so now that I'm out of game again, I'm going to change these values to 50, 50, just for test sake. And I'm going to hit Control S to save. You can also just go up to file and hit save. Now, if I go back in the game um, without exiting, you'll see that the values are actually still 0, 0, because you cannot change them on the fly. You have to exit the game and reload them. So I'm going to exit the game now, and uh, I'll show you that those um, new values have taken effect. All right, I'm now back in game after changing those values, and we're going to go up to performance options again, and now you're going to see that 50-50 is there, which is what I changed it to. I had to restart, however, to get that to take a, uh, effect. Uh, so even though uh, you, before you saw it wasn't moving with the limiter on, these settings that I just added uh, allow this particular avatar to fall under it. Uh, but keep in mind that setting is enforced on all avatars. Uh, so what I'm going to personally do is I'm going to fix this avatar to be below those options uh, so that even the default that most people will have will be, um, you'll still be able to see the physics on every avatar here. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll, I'll try to make some more tutorials, maybe on the particle limiter um, and other things that we have. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch and watch me uh, create avatars and learn from there. Or add me on Patreon to download um, public models that I release uh, every week. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching and have a great night.